All right, so I'm back, and today we're gonna to do another rant of the week. And today we're going to be talking about Soundwave through the three or the four continuities that I I am familiar with him from uh, movie G1, animated, and Prime. So, um, yeah, and Soundwave is such an iconic character. Um, I really should have gotten to him earlier, along with uh, like everybody else. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, um, let's start off with my lowest rated one, like always. Uh, we're gonna go with Animated on this one. Um, he was a very minor character in the show, um, barely showed up. Um, I think he had one or one episode of Soundwave, one episode of Sound Blaster. Um, and it, it, it was just a very weak showing, um, uh, for Soundwave, for such an iconic character. Um, it, it wasn't fun, uh, I didn't enjoy it, um, it was really irritating, I don't think he really had much speaking lines, um, uh, I just, all around, it just, it sucked, uh, for such a great character like him to get such a shaft and other characters like Bumblebee get such a big boost on their, on their roles. So, anyway, uh, so yeah, that's, that's my number four. Easily, easily down there. Um, now my number three, uh, this isn't at all me ragging on the, on the character, uh, because he was one of the few that did a really good job, um, would be the movie Soundwave. Um, it just, G1 and animated, or G1 and Prime are better uh, uh but yeah in the movie uh you know revenge of the fallen you see him as a satellite just kind of floating around the earth and and giving commands ordering the decepticons around uh kind of giving a, a play by play for the decepticons to to do and stuff uh and doing research for him and that was very, very Soundwave-esque. Um, very espionage and spy satellite. Uh, although you do see some tentacle rape in there. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah I, I thought it was a perfect use for him. Especially, you know, he was kind of like a commander. Like, you know, Decepticons attack, mobilize. You know, we found the shard. Okay, everybody go to these coordinates. You know, he was, he was leading from afar, um, which worked really well for a character like him in the movie. Uh, no, you don't really get to see him transform. He's just a satellite floating around in space with a sound wave head. Um, in uh, Dark of the Moon, though, he actually gets on the ground. He's got more of a hands-on approach. Um, you see him execute uh, Wheeljack, which was awesome, or Q, as they called him. Um, yeah, it's weird now that I'm thinking about it. Like, why were they able to use Q, but not Wheeljack? I mean, Q's the bond... Q's the, uh, the, the guy that builds, or the guy, yeah, the guy that builds stuff for Bond. Um, so why can they use that name and not Wheeljack? Anyway, uh, but you see him execute Wheeljack, which was awesome. Um, yeah, he gets killed by Bumblebee, but, you know, whatever. Um, you know, it, it just, he had a pretty good showing, I thought. Um, you know, in between the fact that, uh, it's, it's been clear that he's been he has been on Earth for a long time, um, kind of commanding the humans to do his bidding, um, and, you know, leading, leading from afar, again, um, using the humans as puppets. Uh, it was a really great concept, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, my number two slot would have to go to, um, It's a very tough call. Uh, I'd have to go with the Prime. Um, I really liked him in there. Again, he was um, he's more of a spy plane as opposed to um, cassette player or uh, satellite. But uh, 
he was silent the whole whole thing. You know, he only says uh, I think uh, Soundwave Superior one time in the entire series, um, and yeah, he was just. He, he was great. I mean, you, you see him kick the shit out of Arachnid, uh, which she deserved because she was like, oh, okay, let's leave. And, you know, she was trying to get the Decepticons to leave, and he just beat the hell out of her real quick. And he's like, nope, we're staying, without saying a word. Um, you know, and there, there were times with, like, Starscream's like, oh, yeah, you know, he's plotting his own his own thing like Starscream does. But, uh, uh, you know, just Soundwave just stares at him. And, and Soundwave was like, no, no, you're right. We got to do this, <laughs> you know, or, or he would just point. Um, you also see him fight Wheeljack in that one. Um, and he beat up Wheeljack pretty good. Um, mostly because Wheeljack was supposed to lose the fight. But um, my dog's pacing. Um, so yeah, he had a pretty good showing in that, in, in, in Prime, uh, I think, and the fact that he's not actually dead, he's stuck in the negative zone, um, uh, is again something pretty cool, um, something we don't, you know, he, he didn't die, so he's still out there somewhere, uh, stuck in between worlds, uh, which is pretty cool. So, it, you know, it kind of leaves that door open, uh, if they were to make a sequel to the series, a, a real sequel, not whatever R.A.D. is supposed to be. Anyway, uh, so obviously G1's my favorite uh, shockwave, or sound wave. Um, you know, he had the best showing there. Um, you know, he had an entire army of mini con or uh, of the cassettes with him. Um, you know, in all the other showings, he, he had a one minion, but they generally were even, they were less um, than the G1 versions, for the most part. Um, and, yeah, I, 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 I mean, yeah, G1 Soundwave. It, it, <laughs> there's a reason why he's so iconic. Um and he will forever be so iconic. So, um, yeah, I really don't have a whole lot to say about him. Uh, you know, he's just, I mean, you guys all know how good he is. So, um, there's not really a whole lot I would change about his character in G1. I, I thought he had a really strong showing. Um, clear, clearly, um, a commander capacity, um, as opposed to just trooper. Um, and he's kept it through the years, uh, aside from animated, he, he's kept that command kind of position where he's fiercely loyal to Megatron, uh, aside from one scene in the Transformers movie where he, he let Starscream push him out of the ship and it's kind of like, um, I thought you would keep him around, um, but, um. But yeah, uh, Soundwave, um, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have a whole lot more to say about him, so. Yeah, I, I, like I said, aside from animated, I think he's, he had probably one of the stronger showings of all continuities that I am familiar with him. So, so yeah, uh, I guess that's, that's it. I know that was kind of boring and short, but they can't all be 20 minutes long.